Hey everyone, I'm Trevor and you're watching SoCal Disney Dad. Today we are at Old Town San Diego. Old Town is an attraction here that you need to see if you're coming to San Diego and you want to do something other than like the zoo or SeaWorld and you're looking for more things to do to check out. There's tons of shopping, tons of food here. And of course, it's all Mexican themed. So if that's something that you're interested in, uh, join me in this video and thanks for watching. Let's get going. We always park here at the Transit Authority. It's a lot emptier than it usually is. We're quite shocked by that. Um, but this is a lot easier of a place to park for Old Town than actually trying to park over in Old Town. Right here is the trolley station. And so what you do is you go down the stairs. It'll take you underneath the trolley tracks. And as you see the sign directly ahead says to Old Town San Diego. They do have a ramp for a handicap. That way, you know, if you're like, oh, is the stairs the only way down here? No, there's a ramp that goes all the way down around this area right here. And then it's the same thing on the other side. So don't worry about that at all. We go under this cool, really neat bridge or tunnel. Right here is a sign that shows you the map, the general area here of Old Town San Diego State Historic Park. This is the birthplace of California. And we are, where are we? Right here where the star is. And we're gonna go into this area. The brief glimpse that you're already getting, I'm sure you can tell that it's quite cute. There's this big open park area. We've come here before and you know, thrown a Frisbee or a football around with friends. It's a great place for that. Basically what you're gonna look at when you come to Old Town is this is a gigantic loop. So if you head up that way, there's tons of people there, of course. It's gonna go up, it's gonna wrap around, and you're gonna come back the road over on the other side there. And all along the way, lining both sides are shops and stores and, and food places. There's candy, there's toys, there's um, Mexican-inspired tiles and artwork and all sorts of things for you to come check out here at Old Town. Park? Yeah, we can. Or are we going straight up? That way I go get food. I guess I, I'm going to go with the flow and do what you guys are doing. <clears throat> Straight ahead is one of the largest and most crowded areas here at Old Town San Diego. If you go through that sign up ahead that says Fiesta de Reyes, there's tons and tons of shops in there. Uh, there's also like a dining area straight in the center. They sometimes have live music in there. Very, very nice place to be. But again, also very, very crowded. I don't think we've been here since COVID. Have we been here since COVID? Mm -hmm. We've never eaten at this place either. What's this place? This is... I'm not sure, but all I see is kids eat free every day. So <laughs> kids eat like, free every day? Oh, like, it does say that. Taco Tuesdays, Indian flatbread tacos, Cinco de Mio. Your meal is free on the 5th of your birthday month. Interesting. Birthday this month? Nope. This is Barra Barra Saloon. Looks like what it is. Barra Barra Saloon. They've got some tamales off here to the right. Tamales are $3 each, pork or chicken. They've also got churros for $3 each. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're still giving samples. You can come here and you can get uh, pecans and nuts and things. Yeah, I'm gonna have some right here. Pretty neat little sample here. So we're coming into Fiesta de Reyes. Hmm. It's okay. I'm not a huge cinnamon nut person. What'd you think? I got the almond. You put those out after. I like it. I I wouldn't like the So I've got this retablo of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Got a really bunch of neat cultural type stuff here, like that, all the way through here. You can hear the live music. In fact, let me get over here and get closer. Here's a brief look at everything that they have here in Fiesta de Reyes. Gifts, clothing, jewelry, bakery, olive oil, handcrafts, kitchen supplies, copper, chocolate, tiles, toys, wine tasting, hot sauce, garden supplies, gifts and books, silver jewelry, jerky and root beer. And we like to go and visit quite a lot of those places, but there is uh, live music straight, <coughs> straight through there. We're just gonna go around the way we normally go. We're gonna head in and go over here to Geppetto's. This is the toy store. 
always fun to come in here see what types of toys they've got lots of puzzles I always like puzzles some really fun puzzle options over here we even got cornhole battleship and Othello Corkle they have a fish and frenzy Catan, Catan Jr. Ticket to Ride. Lots of board games, too. Mm. What? What is it? Oh, like a popper thing? <laughs> so the area that you're seeing straight ahead with the live music and all the people sitting down in these heaters, that is the uh, Casa de Reyes restaurant. And the entrance looks like it says it's off to the left here, um, but there's lots of stuff you can get here. This is a street taco stand. Uh, no, there's a lady in there, so it does look like it's probably open. We're just going to keep walking around. Got all sorts of gifts and wares. I, I can't view or tour every single gift shop in this entire place. There's just way too much, but you can, <laughs> you can have a quick glance through there and see the different types of stuff that they have for sale here at some of these stores. This is the exit to Casa de Reyes. Right here at this little booth, you can get free, fresh, handmade tortillas. Now pop them out this little window right here, and it's one per person. So we got some free hot tortillas, and they look amazing. They're very, very warm. They wrap them up for you and, and hand them out through that little window. They are huge. So we only got two, even though it's one per person. We could have gotten five, but we just decided to to get one for right now. How is it? It's good. Mm. This is very good. So soft, so warm. Nothing like buying a tortilla from the store. This is this is the good stuff. I'm like, can I get some hard pork and or steak to put in here? <laughs> Make your own tortilla. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Very, very and they're good. Very big. They're they really are. Big. See, we still have a whole nother one down here. Can I have another piece? There's this cute little display right behind us. Really nifty thing there. Of course, there's that free tortilla booth right over there. They do have a tip jar out there. The last time that we were here, um, the lady like tapped the tip jar. I don't know if she spoke English, but she tapped the tip jar and was like... She didn't even hand us the tortilla until we put anything <laughs> in the tip jar. Like. Even though it says free tortilla, she was like, no, you, you tip, you tip. Today, we got it for free. It was pretty neat. Now that we've got that free tortilla, we're going to continue walking through here. Once again, we're not going into every single possible store. Um, but we are going to pop into the chocolate shop here, which is right here, Nibble Chocolate. Because sometimes they have samples of the chocolates available. I didn't think that they would. Um, yeah, it says ask our barista. Because just with COVID and everything, I didn't think they'd have a whole bunch out here. But... It's a tiny little shop. Not very much space in here. It does look like they have brownies and cookies. It's a nice little sitting area here. I mean, the, the cushions look like they've seen better days but it's a cute little nook here for sitting we're not gonna go in there James we're just gonna walk right on by here's the tile shop if you come in here they've got all sorts of tiles lots and lots of tiles I'm gonna pop in here because this is kind of a, a fun place to to come in here and look at as they've got uh, lots and lots of different things that you can find in here They've got numbered tiles over here if you want to. Oops, sorry. Numbered tiles over here if you want to like put them on your house. And they've got even frames for, for putting those numbered tiles on your house. They've got special decorative uh, like wall-mounted tiles and all sorts of things like that in the tile shop. They have a little general store over that way. It says coffee. And then the Johnson house over here 
This is foreign and domestic finery. Some of these uh, shops and things and some of these buildings in Old Town are literally just for display. Like over there is the Courthouse Museum. And I feel like there's a jail around here somewhere that you can check in as well. Um, the Cosmopolitan Hotel up here, I don't believe is like a, a real hotel. I think it's just uh, literally like part, part of the, the aesthetic and the display here. Dead straight ahead in front of me is Cousin's Candy Shop. I always love going into the candy shop. It smells so good and they have tons of great options in there. We might swing by there a little bit later, but it's also very cramped and tight on close quarters in there. That's something to take into consideration. As we head straight up down this way, all the food is gonna be beyond the park itself, out into the main street areas where, where cars are driving and things. But uh, a lot of the great food, sit down restaurants are up that way and that's where we're headed right now for dinner. Looks like the candle and soap shop off to my right is really popular right now as well. It's a big long line to get into Toby's. Some people at my work did this. Oh. But they said like you pick what shape you want and then you're allowed to dip it. I think it's like three times or something. Like so you can even change what colors you dip it and make it layered. That's really fun. So, um, yeah, I didn't even know that was there until they did it. And we're walking by El Centro Artesano, which is like outdoor pottery and, and that sort of thing. There's really a lot of neat stuff through here if you're into this sort of thing. We're not, which is why we only usually come here about once a year. We like to walk through it. We like the atmosphere. We like the free samples. The tons of free samples that you get are really, really great. But um, we're not big into Mexican aesthetic, despite living in San Diego. Looks like Restaurant Casa de Maria down that way. Old Town Ice Cream, Handmade Waffle Cones. I'm not sure where that is, but the sign is like, it's probably, probably down there somewhere. We are thinking about getting the nitrogen ice cream, which you can do. It's the street that we're about to approach. It's just down there and around the corner on the right. But for right now, we're actually gonna head straight and we are gonna go find a place to eat. There's lots of little places, even as we're walking along here and get like a little ukulele type thing. Some sports gear. I see some Steeler stuff. <laughs> Looks like we're passing Living Room Cafe and Mexican Grill. As you can see, there are lots of cars just trying to get in and out of here with a lot of foot traffic as well. So it can be very frustrating to drive through this area. Um, obviously there's very little parking space. I mean, there are parking spots. Like if you have a really tiny car, you might be able to squeeze That's in right why here. We um, park in the transit center. But yes, yeah, a lot easier to park in the parking lot and then walk over here. Some street vendors here as well. They look Cajun food. <laughs> New Orleans Creole Cafe, tucked away back there in the back. It looks like it. I would say so, probably. This is the food area. Across the street is Cafe Coyote. Cafe Coyote is a great place. We've been there uh, quite a few times. They also have Miguel's here. Miguel's is uh, a, a sort of a chain, it's a local chain. And they have one on Coronado. They have one in Carlsbad, I believe. And they also have one here in Old Town. I don't think we're gonna go to Miguel's here today. I think we're gonna check in, see if we can go to Fred's. Fred, Casa de Fred's is right here. We just put our name in at Fred's and um, now we are gonna wait 20 minutes. They said it's a 20 minute wait. Put your phone number with them. They'll text you when your table's ready so you can go wander around, check out the shops and come back when it's your turn. There's a little shop right here we could possibly pop in while we're waiting for dinner. Looks like a tiny little spacing here. I was seeing everyone with ice cream and it's like, cause there's a cold stone right here. A great place to get ice cream. And then of course there's Miguel's Casina. We've eaten at Miguel's, that Miguel's in particular once before. And we've eaten at Miguel's in Coronado many, many, many times. Great place to get some food. We decided to walk up this way and it looks like they've got the Hacienda Hotel. This does look like a hotel that you can book and stay at right here off of Old Town. Really, really neat looking, just from what I can see, standing right here. It's a big old gate straight ahead and multi layers. And I don't know, it looks kind of looks cute to me. While we're waiting for our table, we thought about walking and checking in some of the stores, but 
everything around here is just really too tight quarters for for the kids and it's really really busy so we found this little nook over here and there's no one back here so i think we're just gonna sit and chill and let the kids run around in this nice grassy area that's the main main road right down there so it's not that far off the path it's five o'clock on the dot and we just got our text that our table is ready at fred's so we're headed that way now so as is typical in a lot of mexican places around here they bring out complimentary chips and salsa and if you want um, white sauce queso you got to pay for that extra but the salsa, is good. the salsa is pretty good they also brought out this little hand sanitizer so that's pretty neat so Amy and I were just commenting on how we really like these little plexiglass walls because it's like we're in our own little private restaurant and it kind of keeps the noise down a little bit and it blocks the wind from not being as windy so it's a little warmer in here and I don't know I just I, I kind of like this little private restaurant feel. Yeah, there are some COVID things that we're like, yeah, we could keep this around. Yeah. Just one of them. <laughs> uh, if you've seen any of our SeaWorld San Diego videos, all the shows at SeaWorld, the, the way that they do the seating and social distancing. We really like that. So there are lots of these like new social distancing and COVID procedures that we hope stick around long term. And these little private walls is kind of like one of them, even though they're clear. So they're not like super private, but I don't know, they feel a little bit more cozy. So what did you get, Mom? <coughs> Monterey chicken. <laughs> Monterey chicken. We already scooped the rice and the beans off onto our plate here because she doesn't like those. But we have the California burrito. You can see a perfect cross section there. A California burrito has steak, shrimp, and french fries in there. No, it's kind of hard to tell the fries, but there are fries in there. And uh, we got this cut in half. They cut it in half for us because we told them we were going to be splitting it. So they gave me my half over here. We asked for other plates. Um, and of course, the kids are just having chicken and french fries, and that'll be plenty fine for them. I'm excited. This looks really good. This thing, to me, looks gigantic. Like, I don't even think I'll eat half of a half. So, um, definitely a thing to share. Granted, we did get some grandma's rice and beans that don't normally come with this, but... How do you think this would have compared to the one pound burrito? I don't know. I'm curious. Cause is a one pound burrito bigger or is this a pound burrito or what is this? It didn't say this is a pound, but I'm wondering if the one pound one is even bigger than this. But... That would be crazy because this, yeah. this is a huge, huge burrito. We're having an interesting problem of the sun being in our eyes a bit. I think I've got like a shadow of sun right over my eyes at the moment. So I'm probably going to look really, really odd on camera, but at least I can see the camera. Um, just finished up my burrito. I had the whole thing. It was fantastic. The actual tortilla itself was so soft and delicious. It was just like that handmade tortilla that we got. The tortilla was amazing. This one was fantastic. The tortilla here is better than like the burrito tortilla days on We're headed to get some ice cream right now, but we walking by this Mexican candy shop. Not super big into Mexican candy, but if you've never tried Mexican candy, it's definitely something that you ought to give a go and you can try some or get some in there. So this is where we're going, Dr. Freeze. They have uh, nitrogen made ice cream in here. We'll see that process hopefully. So there's the tank of nitrogen right there. It's kind of a bad glare for you, but then they're gonna come over here to these little mixing um, things, <laughs> mixers, and they're gonna make some nitrogen ice cream. Ooh, two of them at the same time. One for daddy, one for grandma. Isn't that cool? Here's a look at the completed product of my mint ice cream, nitrogen ice cream with M&Ms mixed in. Looks really good and I can't wait to dive in. And here's my mom's nitrogen ice cream, chocolate with Kit Kats. And they just stuck the Kit Kats in the back. The ice cream was great. 
uh, would totally recommend the nitrogen place. Um, the ice cream there has a bit of a creamy flavoring to it. It's it's not like your typical hard scoop. Uh, it's, it's really hard to explain. It's definitely not soft serve at all, but it's just, it's its, it's own unique flavoring and texture of ice cream. Um, so I feel like it's almost like a frozen custard, where that's more creamy than ice cream type of thing. Um, but it's still hard to know. Like we almost need to compare them all like side by side. Yeah. Benji found a penny machine. Go figure. <laughs> oh boy. The boys and their penny machines. Said I love how you can smell homemade tortillas no matter pretty much where you are walking in this area. Because the restaurant right there has them. Most of the restaurants up there have them. Now, I'm pretty sure this over here you can like walk around and look in. Like not inside. But you should be able to like poke around. Want to take a look inside for a glimpse inside? You can scan that QR code. Maybe you used to be able to go in there, but if you look in here, you have a lot better view of uh, this place than I do. It's actually very dark, and the camera is lightening it up quite a bit. This is the courthouse. So then back here, this is the old jail for the courthouse. We've got all sorts of stuff like this to look and see if you explore everything that there is to explore and take a look at in Old Town. It's not just stores. Now we're back in that main area with the park. The park is just really a great place to come play. Beautiful. No picnics? Oh, that was the best part. We come here and have a picnic or, you know, play frisbee, play ball. That's the, the best part of this park is you can come here and that's just, just a COVID thing. Right? Yeah, I'm sure it is. So that is it for our time here at Old Town San Diego. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. We didn't go on a whole lot of shops, didn't really look around a whole lot. It, it, it's a toss up on whether or not this is an area to come for kids or come with kids or not. Just because ours are really, really little and they don't tolerate shops too much. They want to touch everything and there's a lot of tight spaces and things like that but it's still a great place to come especially if you want to do dinner and you know get some ice cream and that sort of thing like we did today a lot of really great shops if you have the time to check around there's a lot of great free samples in the fiesta area and just some awesome atmosphere and music and all that sort of thing so definitely highly recommend that you come check out old town san diego whenever you get a chance thanks again for watching go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you again next time Thank you.